All right, this is my latest update on uh, my uh, Ryobi 42 inch uh, zero turn with the uh, lithium battery upgrade. Uh, this is my 10th mo. I started to do it yesterday and got rained out, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it up today. I've been uh, tracking my uh, battery voltages and uh, the uh, average for the last uh, 10 times has been about uh, 53.2 to start with and then when I'm done it's around 52.4. It uh, varies a little bit. I'll put a couple more details on the screen uh, as far as that if anybody's interested. Uh, the average battery voltage uh, it starts at each for individual batteries is 13.3 and when I'm done it's 13.1. So it's not a lot of voltage uh, drop. Um, so it's been holding up pretty well, been pretty consistent, varies a little bit. Like I said, you'll see the details and the numbers. Uh, since I did the swap, there was a couple upgrades that I did. One was to uh, 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 remount my old gauge in the side here. Maybe you can see it right there. So that's all hooked up. And um, uh, then I corrected the, uh, the plug so that I could use it and uh, so that the green light goes on when the charger's plugged in and you can't drive the mower when the charger's plugged in. It's kind of a safety deal. I did uh, try to uh, drive the mower away when the charger's plugged in. I did do it a couple of times, so I was kind of glad they had that safety feature put back in. Uh, simply just jump, running a little jumper wire. Um, future plans, um, I've got uh, uh, for about $50, I got the parts already. I'm waiting for uh, uh, some little uh, plugs and uh, then I'll do a uh, another update. I'm going to take and run um, a bolt gauge uh, to each battery so that I can monitor the individual voltage to see if the battery is going to go out of balance. Normally if we would have like one big lithium battery it's got a BMS in it and that monitors all the battery cells and you can get the Wi-Fi batteries and you can see what all your cells are doing uh, but of course I don't have that. Um, so the individual voltmeters, even though they're only going to be one digit, so like it'll be a 13.2 instead of a 13.21, um, it might tell me something about the battery ba balance. Uh, the other upgrade I'm going to do before the winter gets here, because it's um, September 26th, so I got a few more months. Um, I do have all the pieces that I need to put in some uh, heater pads uh, for the batteries. Um, so in case it gets below uh, freezing or whatever the threshold is that the battery heaters will kick in and keep the batteries warm. Uh, that system that I designed for that is a uh, 120 volt system. So it doesn't uh, depend on the, the uh, 48 volt charger or the batteries in the in the uh, mower. Uh, it'll just uh, be the, uh, just plug it into the wall. All right, thank you very much and talk to you later. Uh, this is, um, just for fun, this is about the steepest steepest part of my yard that I uh, mow with my zero turn. It's probably a lot steeper than I really should be mowing, but uh, it, uh, I'd be interested to see what it looks like. It's uh, kind of an adventure every time I do it and done it, but uh, I'm finishing up on the third year of uh, mowing it this way, so uh, let's see what the video looks like. Hopefully it doesn't capture me doing something stupid like tipping this thing over. over. finished up what uh, it's about about my 10th mowing uh, went pretty well the grass was kind of uh, long and a little wet so it was cl pretty clumpy and uh, where I mowed the slope there that that was about as far down as I slid uh, before I'm not steering to go down I'm, I'm trying to stay up on the hill without flipping it over so that's about the most interesting part of my uh, mowing is uh, getting over that that little dip in the slope the, the yards uh, is sloped and then there's a dip in the slope it's almost like it's got to be some old uh, drain tile because the road's kind of elevated there and i bet there's some drain tile that went underneath the road so uh, it's probably a remnant of that there's a couple things like that over here so uh like i said and um i did check my uh, voltmeter even though i didn't do a full yard this time and uh i haven't been paying attention to the uh, percentage because i mess was messing around with the gauge and uh uh, I'm not sure what 100% is or 0% anymore, uh, but uh, I did start it at 100%, and this time I finished up, it was around 71%. And 
and I uh, looked at the, uh, the the old voltmeter, which I mounted in the side of the mower, and that was still reading uh, 100% at the end of the mow. So the calibration on that, uh, the old voltmeter is definitely not it's, uh, not calibrated for lithium batteries, but still interesting information. And like I said, it's really I put it back in there so it could track uh, the hours on the mower, see how many how many hours I do end up getting out of the uh, Ryobi. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you later.